Got a little bit of rain now. It gives me an opportunity to work on my bio garden here. We got a little bit of an optical illusion going. You see the Belgic curb, which is our edge restraint for our permeable pavement, kind of coming around our bio garden. But what you don't see inside here is a concrete steel reinforced edge restraint for our pavement, and yet the Belgic kind of comes around here. This allows the emergency runoff swale that we put into the pavement. Any runoff that we get in excess of what the pavement can take down through the surface will run into this bio garden. We have a big plastic box in underneath it here so that it can take almost 90% void space, 90% water down through this and infiltrate into the soil. So now I've got a geotextile separating my clean, open graded stone here below me. I'm going to bring in some topsoil. Bring me another one. I'm going to fill this area in with a good free draining soil, organics, lots of, lots of fines, lots of sand in that soil. Thank you. Give me one more. Thank you. It's important that you have a good free draining soil here because I'm trying to take all my overflow from this driveway in freezing conditions and in a case where a system like this hasn't been properly maintained. Bring my topsoil up to grade. All right. I'm going to choose an ornamental grass here. It matches the, the aesthetics of the surrounding landscape. These are great water-loving plants. I'll pick a nice aesthetic layout for these, space them out so they can grow properly. Then I'm going to use a good quality cedar mulch that also matches the surrounding landscape. So this will look like a landscaped area similar to what's around the house. And yet, it's a bio garden. Emergency runoff into this area, infiltration down through this area.